A woman accepts a strange puppy as a gift. She's struck by the little dog's unique looks. The pair soon become inseparable, and the woman finds herself with a loyal and loving companion. But when it grows older, something frightening happens. Annika had watched Speckles grow up from a tiny, shy puppy into a cheeky, lovable dog, but recently something had changed and she was getting scared. No one had wanted her to keep Speckles due to his strange looks, but Annika had always loved him regardless of what he looked like. But the dog's temperament had changed. The once calm and loyal dog had become irritable and would snap at Annika all the time. He'd stopped listening to her and she realized that she knew absolutely nothing about her companion, such as where he had come from or even what breed he was. She thought back to the day when she'd first accepted the strange puppy and began to wonder if everything had been right about him. Then something frightening happened. The young woman was walking to the market. She hadn't been living in the town very long and was just getting to know all the different places and the people. By the entrance to the market, she noticed an old woman perched on a stool holding on tightly to a basket. As Annika walked past, she saw two huge eyes looking at her from inside the basket. She stumbled back in shock. What did the old woman have in there? Sensing her curiosity, the old woman beckoned her to have a closer look, pulling back the thin cloth that lay over the top of the blanket. Annika gasped. Inside was the tiniest, strangest looking puppy she'd ever seen. Most of the puppy's body was bald, apart from its few tufts of fur on top of its head and around its ears. It had huge eyes and large ears that almost seemed too big for it. The old woman told Annika she was trying to find the puppy a new home, but no one wanted it because of how he looked. The young woman looked into the little pup's eyes and saw a sadness that tugged at her heart. The dog deserved to be happy and loved regardless of how he looked. She knew right then that she couldn't leave without it. She asked the old woman what she wanted for the puppy and was surprised when the old woman said the puppy was a gift if she could promise to love it. Annika accepted the little puppy, but she would soon understand what the old woman had meant when she said no one wanted him. Annika decided to name the little dog Speckles, and she did everything she could to make sure he settled into his new home. The poor little puppy was very shy though, and wouldn't go anywhere near the young woman. She decided to give him space and time to explore his new surroundings and get used to his new owner, confident that in time, the strange puppy would come to trust her. Annika's decision to accept the puppy was met with revulsion though. Everyone commented on how ugly Speckles was and that he was the strangest looking dog they'd ever seen. Annika didn't care though, she was looking forward to the day that Speckles came out of his shell. She would love him no matter what. The young woman's effort and patience paid off just a few weeks later. Speckles began to warm up to Annika. Soon the little puppy was following her all around her apartment and lying on her lap while she watched TV. It was so rewarding to see him grow more confident with each new day. She was confident that she'd made the right decision to bring the puppy home. He didn't look like any dog she'd seen before, but it didn't matter one bit to her. Speckles was growing into a loyal and loving companion, and Annika couldn't ask for anything more. Moving to a new town had been frightening and lonely, but now that she had Speckles, her home didn't feel quite as empty. She still couldn't get used to the odd looks she would get from people when she walked her dog, though. No one even bothered to hide the looks of disgust, and Annika began to worry that she might be the only one that would ever accept him. Speckles was happy, though, and that was all that mattered to her. People could judge all they wanted, but they would never realize that the strange little puppy had brought her so much happiness. In turn, she'd saved him from a life of being rejected. 
as Speckles grew older, Annika began to wonder if he would ever grow fur. When she'd first brought him home, she'd assumed his bald body was down to a skin condition or stress. She'd made sure to protect his skin with regular soothing baths and specialist lotions. She'd even taken to applying sunscreen for dogs so his skin didn't burn, but his hair had never grown back. He was still completely bald on his body with fur around his head, ears, feet, and tail. It just added to his odd look, but Annika didn't mind at all. It was less hair for her to clean up and grooming him was fairly easy. But as the strange puppy grew older, something frightening happened. Her family and friends kept asking her when she was going to get rid of the dog, which always shocked her. She could never give him up now. She would never be so cruel as to get rid of a dog just because he looked strange. Speckles had developed a cheeky personality, which Annika loved, but he was also extremely loving and loyal, and she wished people would just get to know him rather than judging him on his looks. However, as Speckles left the puppy stage behind, Annika came to realize that he would always look the way he did. Beyond that, though, his temperament had changed. Annika didn't care at all if he never had fur, but the change of personality worried her, and she started to question if she'd done something wrong. It was only small changes that Annika noticed at first. Nothing overly concerning. Speckles didn't always listen to her anymore. She would give him a command, and he would completely ignore her. She'd spent a lot of time training him, so she found it odd that he would behave like that. She learned that it was possible for dogs to go through some sort of rebellious teenage phase, so she patiently continued with his training, confident that he'd grow out of whatever strange mood he was in. The next thing she noticed was that Speckles had become quite jumpy. When something startled him, he would growl. He'd never done that before even when he'd been a scared and shaky pup. The most frightening change came when Speckles started to get irritated easily. He would spend more time sleeping, and if Annika tried to coax him out on a walk or to play, he would snap at her. His behavior started to scare the young woman. The longer that Speckles' odd behavior went on, the more worried Annika became. She realized that she knew absolutely nothing about the little dog that she'd so easily welcomed into her home and life. What if her family and friends had been right about him? What if there was something wrong with him and she should have gotten rid of him? Annika hated herself for thinking it, but with each display of aggression from Speckles, she began to regret ever accepting the strange puppy as a gift. She had no idea where he'd come from or even what breed he was. Had she been foolish to so blindly love the odd little dog? Annika had had a terrible morning with Speckles. She tried to wake him up by calling him for his morning walk, but he'd ignored her. When she'd approached his bed, he'd been startled by her and had snarled with his teeth on show in a display of aggression. When she'd tried to take him for a walk, he'd snapped at her hand and almost bitten her. Annika broke down in tears. What had happened to her sweet little dog? He'd been a lifeline for her and now he was turning into a nightmare. She was truly unsure what to do. If she got rid of him now, then everyone would say they told her so. Still, she couldn't put herself in danger out of pride. The young woman sunk down on the sofa and watched Speckles sleeping. When he was like that, he looked just like the sweet little dog he'd once been. The nice moments with him were decreasing rapidly, and she knew she needed to find out what was going on with him before he seriously hurt her. He was still so small, but she was aware that a bite from him could be nasty. An incident like that would not end well for either of them. She owed it to her companion to try and find out what was going on with him, and to try and get her beloved dog back. She pulled her cell phone out of her pocket, but before she could dial the number for the vets, something frightening happened. Speckles woke up and Annika noticed he was drooling. 
which she'd never seen before. She frowned and placed her phone down next to him. She was just about to stand when his tiny body began to convulse. Annika had no idea what to do, but almost as quickly as it had started, the seizure stopped, and Speckles wearily opened his eyes. The young woman called the vet as quickly as they could, and they told her to bring the little dog in straight away. What had just happened? Little did Annika know that there was a long and scary road ahead of them, but she was about to get some answers to the questions she'd been asking herself recently. Annika had an anxious wait at the vet clinic. Thankfully, Speckles hadn't had another seizure, but just getting him out of the house had been awful. She didn't want to make the little dog walk, but he wouldn't let her anywhere near him to carry him. Eventually, she'd coaxed him into a pet carry, but not before he tried to bite her again. She kept her head down in the waiting room, trying not to make eye contact with anyone as the tears silently rolled down her cheeks. What if his behavioral problems couldn't be fixed? What if the seizure was a sign of something serious? What if she found herself back here in a few weeks, needing to have her dog put down? When Annika finally saw the vet, all of her thoughts and fears came pouring out. She told the vet everything from the moment she'd accepted the strange puppy as a gift, how everyone had told her she needed to get rid of him, to the changes in his behavior and the seizure. She told the vet she was worried about losing her companion, but the truth was she didn't really know anything about him. His behavior was frightening and unpredictable, and she didn't even know what to do for him because she had no idea what kind of dog he even was. The vet listened sympathetically and patted Annika's hand when she'd finished. He passed her a box of tissues to wipe her eyes and began to answer all her questions and concerns one by one. The young woman was shocked by what she learned. Speckles was a Chinese crested dog, a rare toy breed that was usually worth thousands of dollars. However, like a lot of small dogs, they could develop health problems. The vet was keen to carry out some tests to see if anything was going on that would explain the little dog's change in personality. Annika couldn't believe that she'd ended up being gifted such a rare dog, but she hoped the test would shed some light on all the frightening things that had been happening. When Annika was called back into the veterinary clinic a week later, she wasn't prepared for the news. In that time, Speckles had had another seizure, and the vet determined that he had a form of epilepsy that resulted in unexplained seizures. He was also going deaf, which would explain why he'd started ignoring Annika and why he was getting easily startled. The vet told the young woman that the poor dog had probably had more seizures than she'd witnessed, and they would leave him feeling exhausted and confused. This, alongside losing his hearing, was probably a very confusing time for the little dog, which would explain why he'd become so aggressive. He was just as frightened as Annika was, but with no way of communicating it. The news was sad, but Annika felt relieved to finally have some answers. However, now she was worried about what the future would look like for her little dog. She didn't want him to suffer, but the vet had some good news for her. Speckles still had some hearing left, so there was a lot they could do to get the little dog more used to his condition and lessen his anxiety before he would go all deaf. The seizure would never completely disappear, but there was medication available to help control them. With the medication and some time, Speckles would hopefully regain some quality of life and would go back to being the adorable dog he was. Back at home, Annika began immediately putting all the advice from the vet into practice. She felt so guilty for believing the little dog was a monster. He'd been dealing with so much and Annika was pleased that she hadn't given up on him. Seeing him change as he'd grown older had been a truly frightening experience, but now she understood that Speckles had been terrified too. She would continue to fight for her strange little dog and make sure he had the best life possible. He was her little oddball, and she wouldn't have him any other way. With the medication and advice from the vet, Annika soon started to see some glimpses of the old speckles. 
It was so nice to witness the positive changes and see her little companion return to his old, cheeky ways. Things wouldn't always be smooth sailing with his conditions, but now Annika had the tools and knowledge to support him and make life a little easier. In time, Speckles was back to following her around the apartment and cuddling on her lap, and she couldn't help but cry tears of joy. So many people wouldn't have even given him a second glance based on his strange looks, and his odd behavior and his illnesses would have been more than enough for many people to completely give up on the little dog. Not Annika, though. He would always be special to her, and she was glad they'd regained their happy friendship. Now it's over to you. What do you think of this story? Would you have been frightened of speckles? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.